Whilst he does trade back Nodio's Farlig's there to recoup the damage, I doubt that it'll be all too much to survive with, though, considering the fact that it is into a two-on-three. But as I was saying that, they've already found two extra kills right now. Gives themselves a perfect little boost in this round, and well, it is all up to Mono. Definitely a chance for him to win this sort of position. Balls of out two of the angles, so are beginning to whittle down the manpower. As, yeah, as he's been spotted, I don't really think he'll be able to get all too much out of this. Although, as I say that, well, they just line up together and Farlig and Basso put themselves on a plate. The man, the myth, the legend, Mono, he'll wrap up the double get. Oh my god, just flicking about the server right now. Opening in flames, this is their map pick, but they look like they've got absolutely nothing to give here. Farlig, whilst he does find a frag in return, Nodios rushes to his death, and well, there it is. Illuminar landing 12, being stomped with the P250. That's where things get interesting. TMB, though, spamming away. Down into a one-on-two for Reitz. He isolates, though, and Farlig, last man alive. As Reitz is going to take the fight, he gets it. Reitz makes the one-on-two possible. Three kills in total, and what a play from him. Pistol round to be secured in Illuminar. They might have that they're still pushing around the site. Finally, they get that bomb down and planted. TMB, last man alive, though, scout in hand, and I... Never mind, he switches out to an AK. This gets real interesting now, though. Oscarish gonna be baiting the information, try and play for the sound, but there it is, TMB. You could see that one coming together like a beautiful little segment. There it is. Copenhagen Flames keep themselves alive in this map, at least for now. See a lot of teams trying to rush through angles, trying to play fast and overwhelm the weapons. But a 7 times out of 10 doesn't work. But then again, peeking into an angle like that against an AUG with a Desert Eagle doesn't really work either. 50 seconds left. They will get the man boosted up, but it's simple for a Cillian to tap with that org. As he gets himself the third, make it the fourth. I'm not too sure what Illuminar really wanted to achieve in that position, but either way around, it's very easily closed down. They can afford the AWP, Stomp having plenty of money to do that. Seeming like at the moment, though, we'll be going for a little bit of a... Wanted to save, but now having to commit, Stomp finds the first kill. Puts this now back into a three on three, make it a three on two. Oscarish as he picks himself up a beautiful triple. Finally, Luminar break this curse, break this cycle, and get themselves actually what was a very successful round. Thirty-five seconds approaching. Innocent has made his way around toward the B bomb site incredibly quickly. Something that Copenhagen Flames seem to have not yet realized. Bomb to be planted. Now, of course, as they do go for this retake, it all depends on the positioning of Innocent right here. If he gets the first kill, he surely has the advantage. And as he does take it, he is definitely aware of Basso. Beautiful shot. Illuminar to find themselves a second round and Copenhagen Flames now down to an eco. For a period of time. Castilian finds one. Reitz will take... The second death as well. Stomp. He is there. Oscarish on the back of the site as well. What can he deliver? Gets the first. Make it a second. Oscarish. This surely can't be possible. Oscarish. He'll find all four. Oh my gosh. Illuminar. They just win themselves the force. Still going to be making their way down toward the B bomb site by the looks of things. Oscarish, at least into a fairly safe position, but as Asilian finds one, Oscarish, he'll find himself a beautiful double. Make it a triple as well, and now this is where things start to deteriorate. 45 seconds. 
魔。